It's the third weekend in September. We're going to take a quick look at the orchard this cool morning. Um, so first we have our pear tree here, pear tree number one. Interestingly enough, um, there are flowers open here. This tree is uh, a little confused. Um, never seen that before this late. There are pods there and there as well. Very unusual. I really don't know what's what's going on with that. There's more over there. Interesting. Um, I've never seen that. I don't recall. Maybe it was there the last couple of years. I just never noticed it. But anyway, um, that's a little unusual in the September here for it to be kicking off, opening up some buds. Um, there's another, another, oh man. I don't know. The tree should not be flowering. Um, I don't know if it got confused and is opening up its flowers, the ones it's supposed to do next year. I certainly hope not. Um, that would mean there's no fruit for next year. But anyway, we'll have to monitor that. But anyway, some flowers on there. Very interesting and confusing. Um, here we have our cherry tree. A lot more the leaves falling, yellowing. And you can see here, these are the going to be the um, buds for next year. So all along there, it's going to be um, fruit and leaf buds there. So the tree has set the buds that it needs for next year. Which is what concerns me a little bit about the pear tree. If some of the ones for next year are opening up already for some reason, that would mean less um, buds blossoming for next year. Anyway, here's the whole tree. Here's our sunflowers. Um, still going up there. They're still hanging out. Um, they have their, that, like I said before, that white part rubbed off. Um, and the seeds are still white. And over there, the other trees, they are black. So I'm guessing those ones are not ripe yet. I gotta figure that out when to pick them. Um, so there's our apple tree. Got a bunch of apples on it. Um, as you can see there, lots of apples. A little tricky to see with the sun coming up or shining through the back there, but apples are coming. They've got some, a bunch of them do have some red blush on them. Probably start looking into whether or not they're going to be ready or if they're ready to eat now, um, middle of September see um, if they are ready because um, I know last year I didn't pick them until the end of October I think they probably were ready before then but they just kind of hung out on the tree so I want to document this a little more thoroughly and see if they are indeed ready so I can pick them a little bit at a time and um, enjoy the season a little longer there's the peach tree and then the um, other pear tree here and that's a little tricky to see very well with that sun coming through, but morning sun, this is definitely the best time to get out here. It's nice and cool and uh, quiet. I don't see any blossoms open on this tree here. So whatever's going on with that tree, it must be just something up with that one. Um, and then there, of course, is the giant apricot. Um, tree so yeah so much green growth and way out of control but anyway so the pear tree this one doesn't have any blossoms as it should not there's a peach and then once again lots of apples so you can see where I thinned them pretty good um, to where they kind of had a little bit you know they weren't exactly clustered up you can see sometimes where I missed. There's a double cluster, there's another double cluster. One there, one there, which is not good because insects can get in there. Oftentimes when I open that up, that little cluster, I will find little, literally bugs hanging out in between. Little spiders have made their 
nests in there, especially you see across the fence there where I couldn't reach to do the thinning. There's a cluster of like a dozen apples in um, a very, very small space. And that is a huge, huge problem for insects because all kinds of nasty bugs can live in there. So that's why I need to get rid of the stuff over that's hanging over the fence because I cannot maintain it. I can't prune it um, and thin the fruit. So you can see a little better of the canopy in here how it should be more spread out so that each fruit is not touching. That way we can avoid uh, insects and mold and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's the orchard for this week.